Hello guys, in today's lab, what we are going to do is we are going to create an Amazon a Linux 2 instance. On that EC2 instance, we are going to install the CloudWatch agent. Once we install the CloudWatch agent, then we are going to uh, create CloudWatch agent configuration file and we are going to create this file with the help of uh, CloudWatch wizard. Okay, so by doing that, we are going to create the configuration file. Once the file is created, then uh, based on that file, we are going to uh, route or stream our log files, that is system log files, to CloudWatch. So this entire thing uh, we are going to do practically right now. So uh, before we launch our EC2 instance, that is Amazon Linux 2 instance, we also have to create one role uh, which would be attached to this EC2 instance and so that the EC2 instance can communicate with Cloud, CloudWatch while streaming logs from EC2 to CloudWatch. So let's uh, jump on to AWS console. I am. Okay. Let's create a new role. Create role. EC2. Next permissions. And over here we have to search for CloudWatch agent server policy. This one. So this is the one we are looking for, and you can see what all permissions we have as part of this role that we are creating. Next, let's add that. So the role is created successfully. Now let's do one thing. Let's go ahead and create our EC2. Amazon Linux 2. ATM. Over here, we will, we will be selecting our role that we have created, that is CloudWatch I am Community. Let's make it as 20. One more. So we are going to open port 22 and port 80. So let's launch it. If we go on the EC2 dashboard, we can see this is our server that is coming up. So right now it is in pending state. So let's wait for it uh, to be in running state. So as you can see now it is in running state. So once it is in running state, we are going to connect it by using git bash. Let's copy this command, paste it over here. So uh, now we are going to go to AWS official page. Okay, so this is the page uh, which guides you how we are going to install and run the CloudWatch agent on our servers. So right now, if you see in this table, we have our platform is Amazon Linux, uh, Linux 2. So I am going to just copy this download link address. After copying this download link address, we are going to run this command. That is wget and the download link. So let's get back to our terminal. wget. There is our S3 download link. So you can see 
our package has been downloaded. Okay. So once our package has been downloaded, what we are going to do is we are going to run this command for our Linux machine. So the command is done successfully. Now, once the CloudWatch agent is installed, we uh, would be going and running our CloudWatch wizard. So for that, So before running our cloud CloudWatch wizard, let's see if it has been installed. So You can see our Amazon CloudWatch agent configuration wizard is at this location. So now let's go ahead and run that. Copy this path. And after copying this path, let's copy our wizard again here. Okay. So this is the command that we are going to run. ahead and clear the screen so that the wizard is still visible. Here we run. So our operating system is Linux, which is a default choice. Hit enter. We are doing it on EC2, default choice. Hit enter. We are going to run the agent using root user. That is default choice. Hit enter. I don't want to turn on the stats DDM. So I will press 2 and enter. I won't be enabling this also. So press 2, enter. Yes, I want to monitor my host matrices. So I will go with the default option, enter. No, I don't want this. So I will go with no. So yes, I need the image ID instance ID and all this information. I will go with the default option. I will go again with the default option that will be the 60 seconds for my matrices. This is default option. I will go with basic and see. Uh, this is the config.json file which has been created by this wizard based on the input that we have provided as you can see over here. So now we will confirm it as yes. So it is asking me that do you have any existing cloud root launch agent that you want to import? No, I don't have it. Do you want to monitor any log files? Yes, we want to monitor. So we'll go ahead. We'll keep the log file part. Where slash where slash log slash root dot log file. So the log group name would be EC2 logs. And the stream name we would be keeping instead of instance ID, let's keep it as local host name. I don't want to monitor any another file, so I will go with no. Again, no. Okay. So 
so you can see the file has been created over here at this location so let's copy it let me clear the screen so this is our json file which got created so over here you can see that we selected a collection interval as 60 seconds for the agent and over here in the collect list you can see we have mentioned the log file path along with the log file name over here and it is this is the log group name that's ec2 logs and in that we are going to have the log scheme name as local underscore host name so now once this config.json file is created let's go back to our page okay. now we will have to restart the cloudwatch agent for restarting the cloudwatch agent and uh, for uh, so that and we have to fetch this configuration information while restarting the cloudwatch agent so for that we are going to run this command so over here this would be the command so i am just going to copy this Now, as you see, so let's do one thing instead of this thing this year. So this was our command file, then we will have to paste our path of JSON file and at the end type it this. Copy this entire line and we can paste it over here. As you can see, so it was successful. So let's go back to our dashboard. In our dashboard, let's go to Cloud Watch. Let's go to log groups. And here is our each two logs that we have created. Let me open it. You can see over here the log stream name. And this is having the log file. That is a group.log file. Let's re verify. It is the same file. So this is our file, put.log. Let's run this to So if this 
the over here created slide system. The same over here. So that's it, guys. That's it for this lab. I hope you would have you would have understood that how we can stream our logs from EC2 machines to CloudWatch. And further on, based on this uh, log groups, we can arrange filters and we can also trigger cameras. So this is a very helpful thing. So thank you for watching and happy learning. Goodbye.